Hello, my name is Christina Di Marino, and in this video, I'll talk about the design and fabrication of a high power density package for 10,000 volt silicon carbide MOSFET power modules. This work was done in collaboration with the University of Nottingham. High voltage, fast switching silicon carbide power semiconductors can increase the power density and reduce the complexity of high power electric systems. Example applications include urban distribution, wind turbines, and more electric ships. However, to get the full benefit out of these unique devices, an optimized power module package must be designed. The objective of this work is therefore to develop a high-density, high-speed package for 10,000 volt silicon carbide power MOSFETs. Shown here is a 3D model of direct bonded aluminum substrate. The colors in the model correspond to the nodes shown in the schematic. When creating a high-density package for high-voltage devices, the electric fields must be carefully evaluated. In this design, two DBA substrates are stacked on top of each other in order to reduce the peak electric field in the module. Shown on the left is a 2D electric field simulation for the case with a single DBA substrate. As can be seen from the plot, the electric field is heavily concentrated at this triple point. When two substrates are stacked together, the electric field both within the two ceramics and at the triple points is significantly reduced. Preliminary tests have shown that this approach increases the partial discharge inception voltage by more than 60% compared to the single substrate case. In this module, there are three 10,000 volt, 350 milliohm silicon carbide MOSFET die per switch position. Pressureless silver sintering is used for the MOSFET die attach. X-ray images have shown low voiding content and shear tests revealed bonding strengths greater than 18 MPa. Instead of wire bonds, Posts are used for the interconnection to increase the energy absorption capability during a fault and improve reliability. The post material was carefully chosen based on the coefficient of thermal expansion. From this plot it can be seen that molybdenum has a CTE close to that of silicon carbide. The posts are then interconnected using a DBA substrate. Decoupling capacitors are embedded inside the power module resulting in power and gate loop inductances of 4 nanohenry for each die. The proposed module has a power density of 18 watts per millimeter cubed without the housing, which is four times higher than other reported 10,000 volt silicon carbide power modules. Preliminary switching tests were performed on the prototype module at 2.5 thousand volts. The voltage was limited by the testing setup and will be increased in the future. Shown on the left are the drain source and gate source voltages during the turn on transient. As shown by the figure, the prototype module is able to switch 2.5 thousand volts in 10 nanoseconds. This gives a DVDT of 200 volts per nanosecond. Shown on the right are the waveforms from the turn-off transient. The turn-off time is 47 nanoseconds, which is a DVDT of 43 volts per nanosecond. I would like to acknowledge all the students, faculty, and companies that have contributed to this work. This has been a great team effort. Shown here is a prototype of the power module. It includes two 10,000 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs and the molybdenum posts. This is the top DBA substrate that will then do the interconnection between the high side and low side switch. Shown here is a prototype of the 10,000 volt silicon carbide MOSFET power module with the housing and encapsulation material. Inside the housing is an integrated jet impingement direct substrate cooler that was designed by the University of Nottingham. With this cooler, the power density of the power module is 3.8 watts per millimeter cubed. This is a wire bonded version of a 10 kV silicon carbide MOSFET power module that was designed and fabricated in CPES and will serve as a benchmark for the proposed wire bondless 10 kV silicon carbide MOSFET power module. Thank you for watching this video. 